Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and if you're new to the channel, please take a moment and click that subscribe button. Come on, do it! You know you want to. Come on, click it. Click it good. You got to click it. Click it real good. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Spider-Man Deadpool Volume 1. Isn't it bromantic? So stay tuned. Written by Joe Kelly and drawn by Ed McGinnis for Marvel Comics in 2016, Spider-Man Deadpool Volume 1, Isn't It Bromantic, follows the misadventures of Wade Wilson, better known as Deadpool, attempting to mend fences and become friends with Spider-Man. After the wall crawler leaves the Avengers, due mainly to Wade's penchant for killing, destruction, and his attitude. You see, it seems that Deadpool has a bit of a man crush on Spidey, doing everything he can to try and impress him and make him his bestie. At every turn though, Spidey rejects the Merc with a mouth, oftentimes getting extremely aggravated with him and constantly being cold towards him. It's here that Spider-Man kind of reminds me of Batman. So it, it it's a very weird relationship. It seems that even Spider-Man has his limits when it comes to witty banter. And for the most part in this book, we see a whole new side to the web head that we haven't really seen before. He seems more broody and aggravated than quippy and carefree. We then learn that Deadpool has been contracted by someone to kill Peter Parker. Not knowing, however, that Parker is actually Spider-Man. Deadpool investigates Parker trying to find every reason to complete the assignment and still build a friendship with Spider-Man, who is Peter Parker's personal bodyguard and head of security at Parker Industries. Sound familiar, guys? Well. Many of you may be too young to remember, but that's the exact same thing that Tony Stark used to do with Iron Man before he revealed that he is Iron Man. We also get to see Peter and Miles team up in the book to not only simultaneously punch Deadpool several times while he's webbed upside down or falling from a building or whatever, but to also take on an army of Green Goblins. Then come to find out Deadpool has taken over the old school spider buggy and really made it his own. And the three go driving off together with Deadpool constantly making sidekick quips at Miles. We get a hilarious scene where Mysterio is planning something big for New York and ultimately Spider-Man. But suddenly, while in the spider buggy, the three crash through the window and hit Mysterio, knocking him unconscious and pretty much nearly killing him. It's a scene you would kind of expect from a uh, Looney Tunes show. Uh, Deadpool tries to prove to Spidey that he's changed by performing CPR on the criminal, ultimately saving his life, and eventually Spidey starts to warm up to Wade. The story is full of back and forth between the two. Wade constantly trying to become friends with Spidey, Wade trying to kill Peter Parker for his evil deeds. Spider-Man hating Wade, Spider-Man lightening up around Wade, the two becoming friends, Spider-Man back to hating Wade. There's even a hilarious scene where Wade takes Spidey out to, for a bros night clubbing. Of course, the club they go to is owned by Wade. Spidey gets to see a different side to Wade when he meets Ellie, Deadpool's daughter that no one else knows about, while clubbing. Deadpool sets up a double date for he and Spidey while clubbing. Deadpool sets up a double date for him and Spidey with the female Thor and a she-demon. The two women get into a knockdown drag out fight until Spidey and Wade's quips, which I'll just leave to your imagination, get them into trouble and then they're forced to strip down to their boxers for the women while still wearing their masks. Spidey's boxers are red, while Deadpool's boxers are, um, Spider-Man? Yeah, that's right, I said it. Deadpool is wearing Spider-Man boxers. <laughs> the women force the two to dance for them while in their boxers, 
which ultimately leads to Spidey and Deadpool doing the dirty dancing jump catch lift overhead move. The story ends with Deadpool shooting Peter Parker point blank in the head. Okay, so maybe that's not the end of the story. Come on, you really thought Marvel would kill off their cash cow like that? But I'm going to stop it there. If you guys want to know what happens next, you need to go out and pick up a copy. I purchased mine off of Comixology and have to say it was well worth the price. I couldn't hardly put it down. The chemistry between the two characters is hilarious. I'm Shannon for Comageddon TV. Take care. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the little bell to receive notifications on all our upcoming videos. Hit the like button, make sure and leave us a comment so we know how you felt about this video. And don't forget to share with your family and friends. Until next time, I'm Shannon from Comageddon, where all geek culture collides.